Hello, welcome to Rapid Reviews. Here's a review for the GS8000 LTV dashcam. Here's the box here, labeled pretty well. It says it's 1080p, we'll see about that later. Uh, nicely packaged. Let's see all the usual badges. Pause that if you want to see what that is all there. Built in microphone, blah blah blah. We'll get to the features a little bit later on. Supports ignition boot, turn off, shut down. That's one of the most important features that we'll go to in a minute. Okay, let's get it out of the box and have a little look at what the machine looks like itself. So here's everything that you get in your box, basically just the basics. Um it's the the actual camera itself, the suction mount and the USB. I'm not sure what the USB lead is, it's I think it's a B. It's like the fat one off the old black lead. Anyway, this it did have a long lead, which I thought he installed in the car here at this point. It's a very, very long USB uh, B or whatever it is. Um, and I fitted it round the car, installed it and hid it, hidden it round the roof line and stuff like that. That was about three, four metres long. It should be long enough for any car really, unless you're driving. I don't know, I mean you might have problems in a truck, but I'm not sure. Um, I'll just get this little bit of plastic off here and show you it. It's not the best looking thing in the world, but it's, you know, it's, it, it works. <laughs> Just to say as well, the USB B lead, the long one that I installed in the car, just to let you know, it, I'll just click this in here so I can show you this. It adds a cigarette light on the end, it's not a USB, a cigarette lighter. So, you know, if that might be it, it done me, luckily enough. Um, the, the small one is just a USB, it goes to USB. So you can do what you want with the end of that, I suppose, right? Okay. Okay, here's a little look at what it looks like installed in the car. I put it behind me rear view mirror. So, here's what it looks like. Is the aesthetics. Now you're going to see some footage taken from the camera, which is taken from my home of Liverpool, town centre. Here we are, and here it is. Now that's the town centre. This is supposed to be 1080p. But it's, I mean, you know, you make your own mind up on that. Bear in mind, though, that YouTube does degrade the quality of the uploaded videos. So it's a good possibility that it looks a little bit better um, than you're actually seeing it now. But here we are. But, I mean, in my opinion, it's it's good enough. Now, here's the thing I want to add about this camera as to why I'm, I'm so happy about it. It costs £20. £20. That's like $30 US. Which is, I mean, in my, that's just unbelievable. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how China are knocking these things out like this, but they are. It's it's good enough quality for twenty pounds. I put it behind my rear view mirror, and I just left it there. When I start the car up, the camera starts up. When I stop the car, the the camera stops, and I just forget about it. I've never had to use any of the footage so far. I mean, for any accidents, anything like that. But you know, it's always there if I need it. Now it does take a mini SD a memory card. Um, which I picked up for about sixteen pounds, I think, for a thirty-two meg, which is sorry, thirty-two gig. I'm going back to nineteen ninety-two there. A thirty-two gig um, memory card, which is the highest that it takes, um, and that's what's in there now. As you're playing this, now the clips are three minutes long each. Then there's a a, a, a switch over to the next clip, which is invisible. Because I have actually already seen one. I pasted it together with these two clips about some minutes ago, which you wouldn't even have seen because it seems to get perfectly. Now. That's me and a dead end there in the Liverpool one. Okay, now, the thing I haven't played for yet, which I'll play in a minute, is the sound. Now, <laughs> I've heard lots of these dash cameras, and I've heard how good they are, I've heard how bad they are, I should say. This one, the microphone on it, whether or not you need a microphone on the dash cam is a different story, but the microphone on this dash cam is near enough perfect. I'll play it in a minute. Now, 99 times out of 100 that I've seen reviews of these online, this type of budget uh, GB cam. It sounds very jittery, but I'll play you the sound in a minute. I'll hide the sound up a little bit and you'll make your own hands up on the sound on this £20 TV dash cam. But as for the picture quality, um, you can see, I mean, you can know, you could always read number plates if you have to freeze frame or for whatever reason. You can read number plates, you can see things, you can see detail. 
I think the frame rate is really impressive. You've got the date time here, it's time stamped there with the date. There's different things you can do with that with the menu as well, which I'll have a little quick look at in a moment for you as well. But, you know, I was quite impressed. I mean, I've seen a lot better. Um, there's going to actually be two ratings for this, really, because you've got to think about the ratings with the actual uh, camera, which, I mean, it's probably going to be about to see uh, for the quality of it. But then when you think of the value, you've got to, you know, for £20, you know, it's a no-brainer. I think it's a no-brainer. I really do. So here's more footage here then anyway. Now what I'm going to do is now I'm going to play a little bit of the sound. Um, I didn't have this in mind when I was actually arranging this. It was just, I just took it from a drive and just clips from me driving around randomly basically. Um, so I don't know what I'm talking about when I'm talking on it. But it'll give you a little example of what it sounds like. If you, as I say, if you need a uh, sound on your dash cam. I don't really see any point in it but, you know, it's handy if you want to have a conversation with someone and you want to go back on it and check that. You know, whatever you said in an argument or something like that, I suppose. You know, it could be handy for that. But plenty of arguments in a car. So I'm going to play it for you now anyway. Um, it's just a few seconds, but you'll be able to hear the quality of the sound. And here we go. It's going to come in in a few seconds. Here we go. And there you go, I don't know uh, what I was talking about there, well, that was me and my cousin, um, I just can't figure out what we were talking about to be honest, but there you go, excellent sound I think. Let's have another little look at the device now, go through the menus really quickly and see what you think of this actual screen and stuff. Okay, so here it is. It's a neat little thing, it's a tidy little thing. Well put together, i say for £20 it is. I'll stop going over the price now, that's all I talked about. But here's the actual thing now, there's a manual with it and the manual, you know, you can figure out the manual uh, if you went through it all. Personally, I just put it in the car and, and start it up. It rewrites, it overwrites all your old clips, so you're constantly just doing a cycle of clips. And it, it, as it runs out of memory, the cars, it'll just start taking over your oldest clips. So you've always got a backlog of quite a lot of video. Here's the menu here, the resolution you can change, which I don't go near. Exposure, motion detection, the date stamp, obviously. So here is the rest of the menu options, which I must admit, I've never actually got round to using. Reason being... But as I said earlier, the stop start function, a decent picture, and well, good sound if you can get it is all I needed from this machine. And it give me in spades, give me in spades. Maybe the front of the camera isn't to everyone's taste. I mean, it sticks out a bit. I don't know why the lens bit sticks out. It makes it look a little bit cheap, but it is cheap. Um, so I mean, the build quality. Is really good. It's as good as anything else I've seen coming out of China in this at this sort of um, level. And it's not for everyone's taste, I suppose, but it just does the job. Now, the only thing I will mention is that it did take twenty minutes to download each clip, which was quite it was it was longer than expected. I actually thought it crashed and I stopped and started a few times. It was twenty minutes it took to download uh, to convert. Sorry, uh, a three minute clip, which I'm not sure. I mean, you know what. I mean, when are you ever going to need to convert a dash cam file in a hurry? You know, I can't really imagine that happening for any reason at all. So that's it. Subscribe if you like, people. Um, thank you very much. I'll see you next time.